And in the first 11 months of 2018, the state recorded $1.4 billion in marijuana sales. That's the latest number from the Department of Revenue with just one left one month left to report the state trails last year's total by almost $93 million, which puts the state on pace to finish the year just above 2017. Since all marijuana was legalized in 2014, the state has seen nearly $6 billion in sales. And legalization of marijuana in Colorado is only for adults. And a new study just published adds to other evidence as to why. Yeah, it shows marijuana affects the developing brains of teens, even if they try it just once or twice. Bill Folsom breaking down those numbers, looking at the research. He's in studio with more. Bill. Yeah, the marijuana discussion, it is ongoing and it is diverse. Medical versus recreational. Also adult legal use versus teens who find a way to get a hold of it. With teens, this is another piece showing potential impact on brain development. Moderation is the advice for adults who choose to use marijuana. Legal in Colorado, but not when under 21. Young people who may not understand why may question, well, if it became legal, then doesn't that mean it's okay to use? The why not? now has another piece of evidence, a study published in the Journal of Neuroscience. Researchers used MRI scans to look at the brains of 14-year-olds. A noticeable number of teens who reported using marijuana just once or twice showed enlargement in regions of the brain associated with emotion, learning, and memory. Whether it's long-term isn't known, but it adds to other research on the topic. The science behind brain development is very complicated and the average person isn't expected to know everything about that, but it can be really be simply broken down to that an adolescent brain does not stop fully developing until close to age 25. Studies show the number of teens using marijuana in Colorado is about 20%. Even with legalization, it's about the same as the rest of the nation. There are exceptions. The teen use rate in El Paso County is 26%. Adults need to tell young people why it's not for them. Whether it's alcohol or nicotine or marijuana, it has a very high chance of changing the development of that brain. Substance use prevention educators say the scare tactics of the past, well, they just did not work. Instead, good information like telling your teens about their brain being altered and inhibiting its development, that does make a difference. Rob? Good